长须鲸标本吗？你可以猜到我们今天来到哪里了吗？没错，我们今天呢来到了洛杉矶自然历史博物馆。不过呢，可能呢来过这边的观众会觉得，哎，怎么长得跟以前不太一样啊？是不是有个大翻修？其实不是，我们今天来到的呢，是他们这个后方的一个新的这个展览哦。那么他们这个展示呢，是个长须鲸的标本，长达六十三尺，非常的壮观。那其实这个标本呢是旧的，但是呢移到了一个新的空间来。那么事实上呢，现在的这个洛杉矶自然历史博物馆有些非常新的设施、新的展览。那么。我们今天非常的兴奋，非常的开心，要介绍给大家。那么听说呢，他们这边有这个新的花园啦，还有新的这个自然实验室啊，可以让小朋友们自己动手来了解关于这个自然科学的一些奥妙、哦。所以今天非常的开心，再次来探访洛杉矶自然历史博物馆。Let's go！ 洛杉矶自然历史博物馆建于一九一三年，藏有超过三千五百万的动物标本，横跨超过四十五亿年历史。每年大概有一百万的游客慕名前来。博物馆的展览馆包括恐龙馆、非洲哺乳动物馆、昆虫馆、鸟类展览馆等等。二零一三年夏天更开放花费上亿美元打造的三大崭新参观区，包括三层全玻璃透明展览厅，其中陈列长达六十三尺巨大的长须鲸标本，还有闹中取静的三点五英亩自然花园。以及能够让一群好动贪玩的孩子们都能够全神贯注好半天的室内自然实验室。This is kind of like LA's nature center. You can come and find out about all the nature that's in Los Angeles from you know the streets of Los Angeles and downtown, your own backyard to up in the mountains, the more natural spaces. And we've got staff working, and we've got scientists in in the space, and so there's a lot of people you can ask questions of, and then. Well, I was speaking of、uh, something in the street, and I see some fellows that belongs in, in the street. Or am I wrong? It's like you have rats here. We do. We have a large enclosure with 14 brown rats. Let's go.、It. Let's go say hi. Yeah, they're very <laughs>、okay. cute. Let's go. <laughs> you can see. Are they alive? They're alive. You see the little feet. There, you can see the little feet. They're sleeping right now. Some of them might have. I saw one of them moving around. They might be going to find some food. So this is where they live. This is where they live. So there's this enclosure here, and then we have that one on that side, and then the tube connecting them. And they actually climb that rope. Oh, they will come all the way、they、down here. They come all the way down here. We put food in different places. We hide it because we want these animals to live a.、Uh, A good life, you know. They're here in captivity, but we want them to to be enriched. So we like hide the food for them. Right. And we have like exercise obstacle. <laughs> we created all of these toys because that's what they would be doing in the urban environment, right? So this whole section of the exhibit is all about、um, how animals have.、Um, Use the built environment and how they've made opportunities out of it. From the rats using conduits and going through tunnels and climbing up、uh, parts of our, our houses and buildings, to the opossum over there climbing up the,、uh, the telephone pole. The reason that there's、uh, the people sometimes don't respect the rat is because they're competing with us for what we want, and so they're just trying to do the same thing as us. And so our paths have crossed over, and so yes, there there can be some issues when that happens. And we also have live turtles over here, and some、like、other neighbors. We have the red-eared slider, which is the common one that people have as pets. Okay, wow, it's get, big. Th- this one's very large, and they're little, tiny, and cute. And people take them home as pets, and then they get big like this. And what do they do with it? Sometimes they dump them into our waterways,、right. which can have a lot of effects, including.、Um, Possibly being detrimental to our native turtle. That's the western pond turtle over there.、Mm. I think it's really amazing when kids have pets because you can really get a connection、mm-hmm. with a live animal, and that's really important for kids to, to have a respect for nature and the earth、mm-hmm. and life on Earth.、Um, but you have to be very responsible pet owners, and so make sure that you know what you're getting yourself in for. We have double pane glass in here because we know that some people, even though we ask very kindly and gently not to tap on the glass, sometimes that happens. And so we want to make sure that we're protecting our animals. Right.、Um, again, because they are ambassadors here、yeah. and not living in a, in a natural environment.、Um, but、uh, rattlesnakes are、uh, very common in our area, and so we want to make sure that people understand 
some of the issues. That, uh, common in California? They're very common in California, yes. You can go up to the mountains. I've seen rattlesnakes many times up in the mountains, in some of our natural spaces, Griffith Park, mm -hmm. Santa Monica Mountains, um, all through those areas. So what do we need to know about them if, we're, if we encounter one? Um, usually, it's it, you just don't go close. It's, 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 it's the <laughs> Stay monster. away. Stay away. People really only get bitten if they're going close up to them and trying to handle them. I and see. so there's you got to no respect other, their space. You, look, you should respect their space because that we've moved into where they have lived. Right. For many, exactly. Many, many years. Exactly. Okay. I see this really cool thing over here. What is this? So this this is how snakes see you. Oh really? So this is infrared. And so, so this is how what what's uh, Obi? Obi the rattlesnake. So yes. this is what Obi will see me. Hi yes. Obi. Hi. They're, they're sensing heat because uh, is it something, is it predator or is it prey? Is it something that I'm going to be able to eat? And so they, they're, they're going to see that we are huge. We are way too big for them to eat. Right. And, but we're very hot, we're alive, so we could be a threat. Uh... And so, like, imagine that you're a tiny snake down there and you're seeing this huge Giant. person, right? And so we're very afraid of them, but imagine how you would feel seeing us like we are now if you're the snake. So I'm sure this is really cool for the kids. Oh yeah, we see kids doing the fighting and the dancing all, all the time. Want to play? We'll stop and take a break. Later, we're going to go to their brand new natural garden. We'll stop and take a break. We'll come back later. The new natural garden of the National Historic Garden is not only the natural garden of the local residents, but also the home of many small animals. After the break, we'll go to the garden and take a look.